Hi everyone. Today's vlog is going to be about meditation, which is a bit ironic because I never meditate. I've been told since I was, I don't know, 21 that meditating would be the very best thing for me. I'm quite fast, my head's often quite manic, and I used to be crazily anxious about things. Um, why haven't I up until then? Good point. Probably because I thought I was too busy to do so. I did at one stage, I did when I was about 23, I meditated every day for 21 days because it was part of a challenge that I took. And I did it for 20 minutes every day, even when drunk, even when very tired. So it probably wasn't the best kind of meditating, but I stuck to it because I'm kind of like that. But I haven't done it since, or on and off. So this new year, I was re-inspired to meditate by a friend of mine who said, do you know what, you can go to any kind of healer, but essentially the only way to feel better is to trust your own instincts and to go within to meditate. So I thought, I can meditate, I'm gonna do this. This is my challenge to myself this year. I'm not gonna go crazy and say I have to do it every day, although I would like to do it every day, but I'm not gonna set time limits. So everyone says you need to do a minimum of 20 minutes a day, that can seem like quite a lot, and that's probably the initial reason I said I couldn't do it, because I didn't have time. But, as everyone said to me at the time, if you say you don't have time, you need to do it. Because, med I guess meditation gets you to slow down. And where we are now in Bali, we've been here for a month now, I'm becoming slow. Everyone here is so slow, and it's good for me really good for me so now I'm thinking do you know what I have got time I can make I can put aside 20 minutes I can do this I'm not going crazy and waking up at 5 a.m. to do it which is what some people do I'm trying to do it when I can so be gentle with yourself and I'd love you to join me on this challenge and try and do a bit every day even if it's one minute a day one minute won't do much but at least you've done a minute a day so meditation so you've got your position Everyone says that your back, your spine has to be upright. Now, if you know me, which you don't, I've got the stiffest hips in the entire universe. So I'm currently sitting cross-legged, but I will show you. Don't know if you saw that. My hips are, my knees rather, are way above my hips. They're meant to be below your hips, not quite sure why, but I guess you're meant to ground. I've never had hip uh, knees anywhere near the ground. That's okay. Um, so I'm sitting on a cushion and it's not very comfortable. But again, it's something I'm pushing through. Um, your legs aren't going to fall off. Sometimes it feels like your hips are going to fall off or break or something, but you know what? If you go with it, the feeling dissipates and you may not be able to walk for 10 minutes afterwards, but you will have loosened your hips. And apparently the hips are the junk drawer of the emotions, which means that all your, or not all, but a lot of hidden, um, a lot of deep, uncomfortable emotions are stored in the hips unconsciously. So the more we can do to open them up, the better. So you want to try and sit cross-legged, not quite sure why, but I guess to open up the hips, back straight, head up, and that's so that you can receive masculine energy or yang from father, sky, and feminine energy from mother, earth. So you can have your hands down. On, I quite like having my hands on, on the ground because that makes me feel grounded. Um, other people say you should have your hands on your knees, um, I kind of move my hands around a little bit. I know you're not meant to, but um, yeah. You can do a mudra. Mudras are what um, Buddhas do. And it transmits energy according to what you're doing. I don't know anything about mudras, so sometimes I do that. I've seen other people do it. Works for them. Oh, I did learn one yesterday in yoga. Uh, that one. So you plug into the source if you're feeling anxious plug in like a plug and then see I can't even remember I think it's that one that's meant to help you calm down anyway I, I kind of either do that or just put my hands on the floor do whatever feels comfortable because you know what if you're going to do this 
and it's going to last, it has to feel comfortable. If it doesn't feel comfortable, it's not going to, it's not going to work. So yes, the hips don't feel utterly comfortable, but we're going to break that pain, pain barrier. So that's the position. Then it's, what do you think about? It's notoriously difficult to clear your mind. And for me, the more I try and clear my mind, the harder it is. I get m more frustrated. So you can either think about the most amazing place you've ever been to, like some beach or some beautiful forest or somewhere in nature where you felt just amazing. Maybe, maybe somewhere in a city, I guess, but I think nature's better. So somewhere where you felt really calm, grounded, Either, either think about that and just imagine yourself there and picture yourself there, the smells, the sights, the sounds. Or you can imagine light coming down, down into your head from up above and light coming through your, your hips or the places that touch the ground and them joining in your heart. So you can imagine the light coming in and in from both ends and you can imagine your heart as a globe of light that's radiating radiating out or you can imagine looking from your third eye so looking kind of if you have your eyes shut I always have my eyes shut by the way much easier not to be distracted because I get distracted very easily I'm the kind of person that has to have white noise when I'm working um, so look through try and focus on I guess relaxing your eyebrows, that's a big one for me. I'm always doing that. I'm always doing that without even realising. The minute I go relax, I'm like, oh yeah, they were, they were scrunched. So relax your eyebrows and relax your jaw. Really big one. Blah. Relax your jaw. So I tend to clench my jaw, again, without even realising. And I think, relax. Oh yeah. Relax your jaw. Relax your eyebrows. Relax your ears. There you go. Um, what else can you think of? That's the kind of what I think. If you get any any thoughts that come up, just acknowledge them. Don't go, no, I'm meditating, go away. Just go, thank you. Very nice of you to come and announce yourself. Thank you, not now. And try and bring yourself back to either thinking about your third eye, that beautiful place where you were thinking about, or the shining light in your heart, the light coming down, or your breathing. A lot of people focus on breathing. I find that a bit annoying. Oh, I forget to do it, but that's also works for some people. So that's how to meditate. What do you think of when you're meditating? That's another way that you can block out the thoughts is by thinking of a mantra or something that you say over and over again. So sometimes I think surrender, 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 because that, that allows me to relax. Sometimes I try and think of something that's positive like, um, I am proud of myself, I am proud of myself, or I love and honour myself, I love and honour myself, something like that, something that makes you feel good. And another good thing to do is to smile. I know you feel a bit silly sometimes smiling when you've got your eyes shut. You don't have to grin, but you can just go, just turn your lips up a little bit. And that supposedly, obviously really, sends out good energy. You're smiling at yourself. No one can see you because you've got your eyes shut and you're meditating. If they can, great, but they will be affected by your positive energy. But you will be affected by your positive energy just by smiling. So a bit of a smile. That's why Buddhas have always got slightly upturned mouths. So a bit of a smile. And that's it, really. I sound like I'm a pro at meditating. Do you know what? I've watched a lot of other people do it. I've been told a lot about it in yoga, but I never actually do it. Today, I just did it for 30 minutes. Yes, I'm quite proud of myself because I didn't even notice the time go by. I kind of did, I was kind of thinking, hmm, interesting, I haven't thought about the time, even though I was thinking about the time. And then obviously I went, thank you, not pursuing that thought, but 30 minutes went by pretty much like 10 minutes. So that's not bad. So here's my quick intro to meditating. I'm going to try and do this every single day for as long as I can. Obviously, for me, it depends on when the kids aren't around, when no one's around. I like to do it when no one's around. But at least five minutes every day. And I would love you to do the same. And I'm going to update you on how it makes me feel. So 
So here's to meditating.